All right, to make a tessellation, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw uh, one, two, three, four. Four little points, just like that. Okay? And then you're going to go over here to the Make a Vector tool, and you're going to create a vector going straight up, and then you're going to create a vector starting on E, and then you're going to go to the right. right. Ignore that for the long, longest time. You don't know why you did that, but trust me, you, you need to do it. All right, so then what you're going to do is you are going to use this tool, which is Translate Object by a Vector. You're going to click on that, and then on C it says Select Object to Translate, then click on the vector. So I'm going to click on C, and I'm going to click on V. Boom, and see that point shows up magically? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on B, and then I'm V. Boom, that one shows up. Then I'm going to click on A, and then I'm going to click on V, and that one shows up. So we've almost completed our box. Now I'm going to click on D, but this time I'm going to click on the U. See? Now, now I'm going to go back up to my tool, my moving tool, and watch what happens. See, these two guys are together and this are together. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on Polygon. And I'm going to color my polygon. Or, like, outline my polygon. And i got to go all the way back to C. And there it is. There's my polygon. Right? And now the neat thing is, as I move the points, things get moved along with it, right? So it's kind of looking like a tessellation. So now, with any tessellation, any shape, it doesn't matter what it looks like. All right, and actually, the, the neat thing about this is this will alter how much things get shifted around. Look at that, that's kind of cool. Like that. Good, so there's our shape. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it over here and I'm going to translate this object by a vector, but this time I'm going to click in the middle of the polygon, and then I'm going to click V. And then I'm going to do it again. And then for the one up, click on U. You got it. And then I'm going to click on this polygon, click V. Then I'm going to click on this polygon, and I'm going to click V. Click on this polygon, and I'm going to click V. Yes. Colors can be changed Just later. Click it. Right click. Right click, sorry. Yeah, that's right. And then click, and then V. Now, if I want a second row, this is still click selected, right? I'm still selected on the translate object. But now I'm going to click on this polygon. I'm going to go up. And I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go up. Then I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go up. And right now, it doesn't look good, but it will. And up. And I'm going to click on this polygon, and I'm going to click up. This and up. This and up. And this and up. And then, because it doesn't quite look like a poly, uh, tessellation, I'm going to click on this tool and I'm going to drag the F and watch what happens. Now it's a polygon. I mean, a tessellation. Look at that. Is that kind of cool? Yeah. And then as I move things around, there it goes. There's our tessellation. We have an actual, real live tessellation. And then this, this can create like polygons inside of polygons. That we can turn those into polygons if we wanted to. I'm not going to. Can we but, do um, <clears throat> more than six?